feel like I got a good shot. <laughs> Questions? Tired. I've been talking to the insurance agent. How is it getting everybody? Excuse me? How is it getting everybody together and getting on the field now? It's awesome. We had, uh, had two days. I'm ready to put pads on on Saturday. Uh, no, I, I, uh, a lot of teaching. Uh, but uh, again, uh, you know, also you know, you got a lot of things established. You know, our guys understand how we're going to go about doing things, and uh, yeah, a lot of competition. Uh, and um, I like our um, our initiative that our guys have and our enthusiasm that they have. So I'm looking forward to Saturday putting pads on. You're working pretty closely with tight ends this uh, well, I've worked with uh, a lot of a lot of. I've worked with the devil once I've been since I've been here. Uh, uh, really, just uh, uh, over there, you know, working with the offense, and then I spent about half the time on the offensive field, and then another half on the defensive field. And uh, uh, but I, uh, no, I did. I, I, I like to coach, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just gonna walk around. I'm gonna coach a little bit. So. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I mean, I just uh, have spent a little bit of time with them. Obviously, we got a new guy working with them, and uh, uh, just want to make sure that, uh, you know, I, I mean, I think we got a great group there. Want to develop those guys. I think that's uh, uh, the tight ends are going to be a uh, in, in our system uh, need to be a big part. And obviously, uh, in our first uh, uh, few years here, you know, we had guys catching almost 60 balls there, and then also the blocking of the tight end. So the tight end is a very integral part of our philosophy uh, and uh, we dropped off a little bit last year and, and uh, we've got really good personnel there and uh, I think JJ's really working hard and being a leader there so just uh, working with those guys and trying to get them better. What are you looking for out Chase Lewis this spring? I'm looking for him to mature and um, uh, to be the be a, a, a great corner in the, in the league, be the best, best, best he can be. Yeah, you know, all those things are things that, you know, uh, talent is a box you have to check. And we, we have, I mean, we have enough, we have enough talent. Uh, it's getting the right people on the field at the right time. Uh, the first uh, component to that is getting the guy that's going to elevate the other 10 guys at quarterback. And so, uh, uh, obviously, you know, Manny's our returning starter and, and he's got competition there. So that, that'll be a, uh, something that'll, 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 that I think is going to be very competitive throughout the spring. Uh, and, and the talent is great, but the, you got to get them all to play together and to play with hardcore discipline. And uh, just because you have talent, don't mean you're going to you're going to score and do well. You know, uh, the most talented team I don't think uh, wins this league. Uh, there's been a different team every year that I've been here has won the South. And so it's about playing together as a team, developing our identity of hardcore discipline. Uh, but I like I like our team. I like our guys and. Uh, uh, we've just got to, um, you know, offensively, I've got a lot, I mean, we've got a lot of confidence. Obviously, up front is the key for us, and I've got a lot of confidence in those guys. And so the big change, the big difference is just new faces, uh, really more in the coaching area. But I've been very, very pleased uh, uh, with every area and, and how they've done, how they've progressed so far. So uh, I think offense, we're a veteran team. Uh, our line was very young last year. Uh, and that's the, obviously they've got to develop as well as the running backs, as well as the receivers. But I, I do got a lot of confidence that we've got uh, that talent box checked. But uh, that doesn't mean anything. You know, you, you, you're also going to play against a lot of good talent. So, um, you know, I've been pleased with that. That line provides a lot of comfort for your quarterbacks, you know, mm -hmm. especially a lot of the things that mental in especially, mm -hmm. you know, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, a, a big thing is. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, our, our whole deal is no negatives. No negatives and take care of the football, we're going to score. And uh, so, you know, that line being coordinated up there and being consistent, I think the key is to settle in with five guys on that line that play together every game. And that's the key to being consistent on both sides of the ball up front. And uh, so, you know, obviously we were young last year. We had about eight different starting lineups. So, um, you know, that's that's the key for that group. Those guys are all older. I think Sam Jones and Quinn are emerging as leaders up front. I really like their work ethic. And there's a lot of competition up front. So um, that, you're going to be as good as you are up front on both sides of the ball. And that's that's why I got confidence in our guys. Speaking of that offensive line, now Cole Cabral, who's a strong spring, is giving the opportunity to win that starting left tackle job. What have you seen for him? Love Cole. Cole is uh, – 
He's got that um, uh, drive and toughness, and he's got the mentality. I like the mentality of Cole Cabral and Sam Jones, Quinn Bailey, and I like uh, you know uh, Steve Miller. Uh, I like those guys up front and what and their mentality. And every single guy, I can list every single guy up front. Uh, we've got they've got a mentality about them, and that's a hard edge, tough, uh, you know, hardcore discipline, uh, tough guys. And uh, they're a unit, though. They they have to play together as a unit. But I think Cole has obviously played last year as a freshman uh, more we we because we had he had to. Um, but um, that says a lot about his talent, and I'm, I'm looking for him to really, really be a, a, a big-time anchor up there at that left tackle. So I'm, uh, I'm looking for great things from him. You talked about him a bit Tuesday, but what have you seen from Brandon Blackman so far that makes him such a great asset to his time? Uh, he's just infectious. Uh, he's a, he's a one, one, every guy that comes here has to be a great teacher, has to love, love our players. And uh, one thing I noticed uh, in working over there with him the last couple of days a little bit, is just how much better the work ethic and the practice habits were. And that's what a coach does. That's why they hire coaches. That's what you need coaches to do. So been very, very pleased. Uh, he's a great person, uh, very passionate, uh, loves coaching and teaching. Uh, and, and he can, the whole, the whole key to leadership is you have to activate and have accountability in your group. And so uh, I've very, been very impressed with him so far, as well as all of our coaches. Great deal of pride. Very, very, very excited. I got to see Coach Lewis, the head coach of the Bengals, and uh, it's an exciting day for us as a program. And uh, you see all the hard work uh, the young men put in to have an opportunity to, and that's their dream. Every guy that every guy that puts a helmet on is that's their dream. So uh, it's a great day for us, and it's a, a day that uh, that we're very excited about. Excited about uh, our guys doing well today, and they will.